What's up friends and welcome to Freelancing with Chris of Emery. I'm Chris of Emery and today I'm going to talk about storyboards. But first I just want to encourage you to come hang out on any of my weekly live animation streams where I work on my different projects live. And if you like what I do and want to support this channel you can do that through membership, Twitch subscription, NFTs and other stuff. More info on all that down in the description. Alright, so as I talked about in my last video, I am currently working on an animated show pilot that I now can reveal will be called Robin12. And as I progress on my project, the idea is that I will post update videos on this channel about how things are going, along with ideas or tutorials or just my workflow on things in general. So storyboard. What is a storyboard? Well, in short, it's illustration that work as a representation of the shots in a movie. And it's good for many reasons. For example, if you're a team working on a project, a storyboard helps translating from text to images so that everyone are on the same page visually. It has helped me tremendously too for that same reason in my freelance life when conveying ideas for my clients. Alright, so storyboards are great to help unify ideas for a group of people, but do I use storyboards on my own projects as well? Absolutely. You see, a project like Robin 12 is roughly like 10 minutes of animation, which probably doesn't sound like much for an ordinary mortal, but for any animator, that's a lot of work, especially for one person. And we've seen it before, the projects that never get finished, oftentimes because there are no real start and end to them, they are just a big project that will be done sometime. A storyboard helps you really map out your own projects and as you work through the boards one by one, it's a very satisfying feeling of progression throughout the project. Having that great overview also helps putting some sort of grasp of how much time and work will be involved in finishing the whole thing. The main difference between the storyboards for myself and the storyboards with clients or partners is that the ones I do for myself can be really, really rough. As long as the angle or main idea of a shot is clear to me, there's no real reason going too hard in on the detail. When working with other people though, it's obviously a bit different as you want, like I said earlier, everyone to be on the same page. Especially for the clients I tend to work, the storyboards a little extra because I really really want them to feel comfortable with the direction I'm trying to sell. So let's just quickly look at some boards on my new project Robin12. So I usually have this InDesign project where I just have the different sketches placed in these boxes. And like I've mentioned earlier, as this is a project for me, it's in an extremely rough state. And there's no intention whatsoever to have this look pretty or something like that. Just focus on what's important for the specific shot. Sometimes I've added arrows to represent camera movement and sometimes even text just to explain things in the drawing. Below the boards I have script and dialogue. Oh and also I like to split my project into acts and have it visible on top of my InDesign project to show what act I'm looking at. When a sequence is animated, like this one for example, that now looks like this, I just drag a final frame PNG into the correct field and boom, extremely satisfying. If I need more pages, I just go up into the pages panel and drag a page into the plus icon and I continue like that. I've put a basic InDesign template file up for download in the description. If you want it, you can just grab it. It's absolutely no rocket science to do your own, but it might help someone out there. And that's it my friends, thank you for watching this video, make sure you like and subscribe if you want more from me. Don't forget the creative skull called discord where we talk all things animation, link to that and ways to support me and the channel down in the, down in the description and see you next time.